Hey everyone, this is Ayman and today I'm coming back with, to you with a new video for the stock trading simulator series. Today I'm going to be explaining a bottom reversal Andrew and I took yesterday on Thursday playing PLTR. This was actually um, an interesting stock to play. As you can see that on the data chart we gapped down and we gapped down somewhere around uh, two dollars. The ATR and PLTR is sitting around one dollar, one dollar and a half. I don't really remember exactly how much. But looking at these daily candles, you could see that it's somewhere around one dollar. But today it sold off in the pre-market for over its ATR value. Also, you can notice that on the daily chart there is sort of a channel. This is the high of the channel and this is the low of the channel. So PLTR is kind of stuck in a channel on the daily chart. And today it gapped down all the way to the low of the channel and channel traders closer to the high they played the short side closer to the low they played to the long side sitting closer to the low of the channel i'm definitely more interested in playing it to the long side but given the gap and the huge sell-off i'm also a little bit worried i mean there might be some bad catalyst that caused it to drop or there is actually a bad catalyst that caused it to drop right so it could continue selling off um, but because of the huge sell-off, I still believe that it can pop up at least a little bit to the long side, but I need to figure out where exactly it's going to bounce from or where exactly it's going to pop out from. Looking at the 60 minute chart, you can see that there is this level around here, around $11.99 or $12, which is a round number, and that is beautiful, that it got bought back from. So I'm telling myself that this is the area, this is the support area that the stock could actually bounce from if it drops into this level going to the smaller time frames you could see that this is the level and we're getting closer to it i fast forwarded the time all the way into 9 30 approximately 9 40 and you could see that the stock was selling off it continued selling off in the pre-market one two three four consecutive candles on the five minute chart dropping exactly into that level let's play it now with five times speed and see the potential buy area so there is a hammer it's still not at the level uh you could see how it's more ticking to the downside yes it's trying to go up but it's more ticking to the downside which give me, which is giving me that hesitation to play it to the long side you could see here it's also more ticking to the downside i want to see some strength around the level that is telling me that i can't play this reversal to the long side uh now let's wait and take a look at that it's still ticking more to the downside it is sitting around the level that is interesting but since the play is after 9.30, I usually wait for confirmation. Normally, I set limit orders around the levels, I buy it at the limit order, and then I go into the long side. Uh, around here, later on the day, I wait for it to hit the level, I see how it behaves, and look at this, now it's sticking more to the upside rather than, the, the, rather than to the downside, which tells me that we are about to reverse around this area. So what am I doing? I'm buying it to the long side, setting the stop loss below the bodies, not necessarily the wicks, the wicks are already passed, right? and uh, then it's a matter of risk to reward everyone uh, goes for different targets for me personally i want to get at least a five to one on some uh, trade with an entry at 1201 and a stop loss at 1197 some might say this is a tight stop loss but trust me it's not you could see even at 10 times speed the risk is totally manageable it doesn't spike up or down so there is nothing to worry about. You will not get a huge dump that will get you any slippage. Four cents, five cents, six cents. It's totally manageable on a stock like PLTR. Anyway, with a four cent stop loss, my target would be at least a 12.21. 12.21, which is at the five hours. You could also go for bigger than that, seeing that uh, this drop is huge. And we know that based on Fibonacci retracement, stock could pull back at least 30%, right? And I think you remember that on uh, a video I created this week, I talked about how I determine my targets. When I go with the trend, I go for 80-70% um, of the ATR, but when I'm going against the trend, like PLTR around here, I'll be going for 30% of the ATR to the upside. So basically, this is it. This is the walkthrough of the trade. Andrew played this one for reversal. I liked it. It met my trade book, so I played it as well to the long side. It was a really beautiful trade. Uh, it was beautiful on the daily, closer to the low of the channel. It looked good in the 60s, saying where the buying pressure comes from. It looked good on the smaller time frame. Multiple consecutive candles with no reversals, overextended from view up and the nine, which tells us that we could go back up. It was good on the one minute chart where we had the hammer, fake breakdown, tweezer bottom around here with increasing volume at the low of the day, which was exhaustion volume 
or a potential reversal or pullback and everything with the criteria is played to the long side and then it's just a matter of risk management as i mentioned risk management is different from one member to another if you have any questions guys feel free to type them in the comment section make sure to like share and subscribe to our channel you can use the stock trading simulator.com it is free everyone can use it you your friends someone who wants to get into trading and they don't want to put to spend any money entering because they're not sure about it yet can use the stock trading simulator.com uh, you can submit your email down here if you want to receive weekly uh, simulator homework uh, having the link and having the tool is amazing but what can you practice it on we send you the link with name of stocks with the names of stocks that you can practice it on stocks in play from the past six months worth of um, moderators watchlist that you can practice trading on uh, so yeah that will be it guys thank you for uh, watching this video have a great day and have a great long weekend bye bye